Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Very excited for today's beer, as I always am. It is the 2019 Parabola, which I think I was anno uh, definitely annoying the people at my local beer store because I kept going in there asking if you got Parabola. And uh, I know it came out a while ago. But anyway, finally scored it. Really excited to try it. Uh, looks like the stuff on the back of the box is pretty much the exact same uh, as it has been. Uh, still loving the 12 ounce format. Uh, not loving the price I paid, $13 a bottle. Um, so it better be really good because definitely per ounce the price has gone up quite a bit. But I do appreciate the 12 ounce format. But anyway. Um, anything else of notes? 13% alcohol. Um, I usually mention that. And it's got a lot of specifics. Looks like 6,000 cases produced. Um, British ale yeast. Oh, the one thing I did like that they put on here is... Um, the uh well now of course i can't find it oh the color and it says midnight black so i wanted to kind of see if if i also thought um man apparently this glass is dirty um if it was midnight black eh, i get a decent amount of brown around the edges um yeah a little bit of crimson red at the very bottom it's definitely a dark beard definitely looks like an imperial stout but i don't know if i'd say midnight black um just over a finger of light mocha head some teeny tiny bubbles, almost like nitro tiny, like just so compact, and then just regular small bubbles. Um, but yeah, looks like the uh, looks like the part looks the part for sure. Let's see about the aroma. That smells really good. Um, roast, chocolate, lots of chocolate, milk, and dark. Um, but that vanilla, really nice from the barrels. I, I'm loving that. The bourbon itself, oh, did I mention that? If you don't know what Parabola is, it's a bourbon barrel aged stout. Um, so shocker why I'm so excited for it. But, uh, you definitely get that bourbon through without it smelling like a shot of bourbon, but it's there mixing so well that chocolate. And again, that vanilla from the barrel coming through so nice. I get some fudge brownie in there too. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what. Toasted coconut. That smells exactly how I would want that to smell. Sure, you could bump up like the intensity of it, but like everything that's there is really pleasant. It's easy to get. It's uh, again, I guess you in some way could make it more intense. Sure, but yeah, I love that aroma. Let's see about the taste. Cheers. Man, that is good. That delivers. It's making me forget about that price point a little bit, tell you that much. Um, wow, that's so much going on. That's awesome. This will definitely be a, a few sips to get uh, you know, everything. Um, some warmth down my chest, but I don't get the alcohol in the taste. Dry finish, dark chocolate with like powder because the way that it's, a little bit of tannin as well. So, like, the way it's drying out, it has some of that, like, uh, uh, wood barrel drying quality. That, again, that tannin kind of a thing, too. Um, but almost like I had some um, cocoa powder. Maybe I didn't mix it up in the hot chocolate well enough. And you kind of get, like, that specific taste as well on there. Um, uh, almost like you had one of those uh, candies, like a dark chocolate filled with the liqueur, right? Or the liquor. Like some of that bourbon inside of a, a really delicious high cacao count um, uh, chocolate nib. That's just the aftertaste. Like that's how much detail I'm going to put in just to the aftertaste. Let me take another swig to get into actually what you you, you know experience before that aftertaste. But tell you what, the aftertaste is amazing. So it's it's sweeter. Like it's okay. So. You know, I started talking what I'm, you know, as I'm talking, it's, you know, the, the long after, and this has a very long taste, right? The, the long after taste. So that's what I talked about first. So it's kind of weird that I, I mentioned like the dryness and stuff because the beer itself is relatively sweet, not in the world of pastry stouts, you know, it, it's not that sweet, but for this style specifically, you know, old school, uh, uh, bourbon barrel aged dark, um, stouts. I don't know why I put the word dark in there. Um, it, it's sweet. 
you get that bourbon so nicely mixing with this, it, just like the aroma, the, the fudge, the chocolate, it's milk, it's dark. You, you, that vanilla, a little bit, I got a little bit more in the aroma, but it's there in the taste, that slight toasted coconut. Um, and it looks like, I, I have actually a vertical of this going all the way back to 2013. I, I just quickly looked at the boxes and they have a lot of similar, or like basically the same tasting notes. Uh, Excuse me, chocolate, charred oak, vanilla, black cherry, and coffee. I mean, the chocolate I hit on a lot. The char I was going to talk about. Actually, I'll wait till I take the picture later. Anyway, um, uh, you do get some, not quite smokiness, but definitely that charred, burnt quality, uh, which again, it's not overpowering, so it plays so well with the, the chocolate dominant for me and the bourbon dominant. The black cherry, the uh, coffee, yeah, yeah eh. for me, it's it's a nice level of roast that a stout should have. I don't get, if I was doing this blind, I wouldn't think it had coffee in it. I don't think, you can see how a coffee version of this would be amazing, though. The black cherry, although I've been getting more like cherry and berry notes in stouts lately, I didn't pick up on that. Let me take another switch, just because I wrote it on the box. I kind of want to see if I agree with that. But the other stuff I definitely agree with. Well, I, I talk about the coffee. Okay, at the very end, before you get into, you know, what I would consider the aftertaste, what's lingering, I could see a little black cherry, not that it tastes like cough syrup, but like, because of that booze, that little bit of cherry, it, it almost approaches, I, I would say it tastes more like, um, in, in that moment, a barrel, -aged, like a bourbon barrel aged, a whiskey barrel aged, even a little bit of that charred oak, it's not peaty enough to be scotch. Never mind. Just bourbon or whiskey, um, um, like a Sammy Claus or something, like 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 an old ale, a, a, a quad almost. Like it, it kind of has that fruity cherry thing. It, it's reminiscent of, um, but yeah, fantastic beer. That and I still have this aftertaste, and it has a nice bitterness to it as well that I don't think is just from. Um, the malt, uh, or not the, like the, the burntness of the malt, um, uh, I'm wondering, not, not that it's like a black IP at all, but like I'm wondering what hops might be lingering there that's giving that bitterness, or if it really is all like this burnt malt, you know, coffee bitterness. Super pleasant beer, um, I, I think this vintage is great, I'm glad I bought two, even though they were $13 a piece, uh, to age one, um. Um, yeah, I like to see that price point down a little bit. I don't know what the suggested uh, price point was. Um, I'll have to look that up, see if I can find it. But yeah, huge winner for me. If you like this style, I think you're going to like this beer a lot. If you've liked Parabolas in the past, I think this year's is, is a very good representation. Um, I talk about the mouthfeel or the, the body too much. Yeah, it drinks like double digit, big IPA, H and a bourbon barrel. I don't know if I would have guessed 13 or, or maybe, you know, 11, 12, probably if, if I'm being honest, but... Uh, I don't see anything wrong with uh, thinking it drinks a little lower in ABV. Have you had it? I'm super curious. I got this wrong the last time I said I, I thought I watched Joe from the Beer Patrol's review, but I'm almost positive he did review this beer. Um, so I'm curious to see what he had to say. And if it wasn't you, Joe, again, just some free publicity. You're welcome. Check out Joe the Beer Patrol. He's awesome. Great content. Great guy. Um, check me out. Good segue. On Instagram on Tapped. No hype beer at both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly... Imbibe. Cheers, everyone.